we've got to put the profiles up we're going to put an external in there we're going to drill an intermediate in there and we're going to drill an intermediate into the doorway here yeah 0 0.32 150 millimeters four per pack oh yeah these tie wires these are great uh, the, the proper 275s for a six inch cavity so they reach nice because we do put tie wires in We really need to get a t-shirt say, where's your tie wires? Right, after a very frustrating morning, we just had our dinner. This has all been planked out because it's like that underneath. They still need doing so it wasn't really ready. But here we are. So Alex has loaded out. Well I had to go off and get some common bricks because we didn't have any common bricks. For us. Got from damp, two cores of commons, then the block work. So I've been to get them and some longer tie wires for the 150 cavity which were 78 quid for a box of tie wires thank you Hughes Grey so it's after dinner now and we still haven't done anything it's, it's, it's always hard day one on the job like it's a reset now isn't it floors in so we'll start again so we've got to put the profiles up we're going to put an external in there, we're going to drill an intermediate in there and we're going to drill an intermediate into the doorway here because of the door with a small pillar there see the pencil mark? let me just point in the right place pencil mark there so we're going to forget about that for today and just run up to the doorway and inside's all loaded out so yeah, external, intermediate somewhere there intermediate on that corner and we might just see if we can just pin in put the pin in and plumb the block we'll see but um, yeah so we've got to get a mix in get the profiles up and get started and then once we've got the bond I'm going to um, get the uh, the cutter and cut all the all the pieces all the way up so we're not messing about that won't take that'll take me 15 minutes to do all the cuts so yeah, it's uh, like I say, 150 cavity. There's the 150 insulation, 0.32. Yeah, 0.32, 150 millimeters, four per pack. Probably talking, I bet you're talking a tenner a sheet for that stuff. And that's the cheap stuff. So yeah, um, nice her pipes in the way luckily that's the doorway mainly but uh, Alex is going to get um, a bar of sand round get a couple of buckets of water and I'm going to get the profile set up so we're um, back on time lapse while we get ourselves organised and then we'll get cracking
live action.
Pardon? Can you call a seven man? Yeah. started wasn't it yeah it's probably about four o'clock now so not, not really good anyway, i'm talking to the camera the blue wind's blowing up really. give me a second so that's the first time we've used them properly today how were they al al yeah. let's go and find him there he is Hi. how did you find the drill and the rattler yeah, better than the last ones we had. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah. He did the uh, starter pack up. That didn't take him long with them. And then um, show you the rattler. Never seen this before. It's got three speeds on it. Full, full beam on. That's, so that's number number three. Is um, I think it just shows a drill. So I think it's the uh, it turns without the rattle. And then you got number one, number two, number three. So what ones? Ones there. Uh, that's full pelt. Number two. Number three. And then that one. Yeah, number three's definitely hasn't got the hammer on it. But that and one's dead hand, it's dead torquey that. When you're trying to get, we were putting some screws, quite thick screws straight into wood, and it's perfect for that the other day. But yeah, made up with them. Great bit of kit. And the drill, nice and powerful for putting the, um, for drilling into all kinds of stuff. As long as you've got a decent bit, that's it. That was a brand new 10 mil. I think it's a all purpose bit for wood, metal and masonry. Did all right. Again. That's got um, two speeds. You've got your, oh, what's it called? Your clutch and then you've got the hammer. Yeah. Great bit of kit that. And the metal chuck as well, instead of the plastic chuck. And they both got the five amp batteries on. But we have got an assortment of batteries. So yeah, there we go. It is currently 10 to 4. So not that's just one mix we've used up there. Not putting another mix in at 10 to 4 on a Saturday. So yeah, um, Jason got the floor done for us as far as he could. Obviously that's all to do yet. That's all going to be dug out and finished off. That used to be a block wall there and there's a toilet in there. There's still a lot of messing about to do yet. And the staircase behind this wall is coming out. She just threw it. That's coming out tomorrow and getting all dug out for, so the floor can go all the way through. Um, I think we're back tomorrow. We'll see what the weather's like. We've now got a, there's our doorway. There's a pillar to build here, but we need to bring the breaker tomorrow and get that shite off there because that's, as you can see, it's a bit hard putting the um, starters over this brickwork. So we need to try and get that off. You'll see we've got two cores of brick at the bottom. That that's just to copy the um, the existing damp course then two, which obviously throws your courses out. So because you've got um, a course in brick, your block works nine course plus a course in course. We've done away with it straight away, so we've cut a six inch piece at the bottom, one forty piece. So we've got the brick, a course to bring it back into gauge, and then the course in brick. So the rest of it's block all the way up now, up to lintel height. And there's a window going in here somewhere, roughly 600 by 600. So that's going to be spoke about with the customer uh, maybe tomorrow or Monday. Um, I think that's it. We didn't do so bad after all, did we, Al? Mm -hmm. Didn't do so bad after all. In the end, 
just see the profile po poking out the top there. So, um, oh yeah, these tie wires, these are great. Uh, the, the proper 275s for a six inch cavity, so they reach nice, You're not stretching them. We've used the old ones at the bottom because they're purely for this insulation to sit on. These are good, uh, very expensive. I think they were 78 for 200, a 250 box, which is a bit of a shock. So I'll have to remember that one and price my jobs up. Add a bit extra for the tie wires. Because we do put tie wires in. We really need to get a t-shirt to say, where's your tie wires? Yeah, so there you go. Let me take you outside. Through the doorway. So, these planks have got them set up lovely and nice and solid. And we've screwed them down as well, stopping bouncing. There's the new, um, one of the new levels that came the other day. And we've had the external on with the spacers. We just pinned into that side and plumbed and leveled that. And then we've got the, our intermediate profile here, like that. That just goes straight through a perp or a bed and it hooks on inside like that. Tighten it up and then you've got the little line clip that holds the line away from the, the profile. Fantastic then. And then, um, yeah, like I say, there's, there's a pencil out there. That's our pillar. We've got the pillar to come up here, both sides, to form the door and then we've got some, someone to put the lintel on then. And it's a flat roof, no parapet, straight up to wall plate, done. So I'm going to help Alex, um, well Alex can carry on flushing up and I'm going to start tidying up. And we've got, we've got some stones in the mixer, some happy stones in, in the, um, the new improved mixer with our new uh, motor on it, which is quite warm. There's the tower eyes. They were 78 quid, I'm sure you can get them cheaper than that because they're from Hughes Grey, who aren't the cheapest by a long shot. So yeah, there you go. Looking good. We do like using um, fab lights. So we'll see you whenever we've come back, whenever that may be. So see you again.